Welcome to episode four of Gettysburg, day two, Confederates. The Confederates have uh, pushed up to the gates of Little Round Top. The Georgians are knocking on the door and uh, just quite can't get over the get over the edge there. It uh, looks like Colonel Sidney Burbank and Pleasanton with some cavalry have uh, secured the flank over here to hold off the Confederates. Looks like we've got some other cavalry and infantry over here um, that are attempting to hold off the, uh, the Confederate assault. We've got some uh, New Jersey artillery reserve holding the, the, the top of the uh, little round top here. Uh, and we, of course, we've got the 59th Georgia and the 7th Georgia trying to Trying to just 800 men trying to take the top of Little Round Top and take that objective. Meanwhile, we're uh, struggling for the wheat field and uh, just about taking it here with um, it's a replacement leader. So obviously the commander is dead and uh, we're just trying to take it now and push into it. Um, it. Looks like we've got some supplies moving up. So some of these uh, low ammo units should be getting supplied pretty soon. And... Uh, Oh, it looks like we've almost got a breakthrough of Union infantry here. That's a problem. So we'll have to push these guys out here. Boy, they've split our line here, so we'll have to uh, bring this infantry here, seal the line here, push these guys out of here. They're almost uh, spent anyways. Webb's men, and these guys are just... <clears throat> they're lots of men here that are just... Uh, in a position to get wiped out, pretty much. Meanwhile, Culp's Hill has fallen to the Confederates, and they're going to start sweeping this way towards Tawny Town Road. And if we can uh, take Tawny Town Road here, we'll cut off their supply route. That will pretty much um, pretty much end their chances, the Union chances at uh, winning this battle. So um, we've got to sweep in. And destroy the uh, remainder of this Union Army in about seven turns here on day two of the uh, Battle of Gettysburg. And we can win this thing. We'll win the whole thing. Not just our uh, second day objectives. And I think what we're going to do to start this uh, second day here is we're going to launch a uh, we're going to launch a assault. Let's go for it. Um, can these guys melee too? They're low ammo. Let's go for it. I know we're... Oh, we took it. Nice. Little round top is ours, which is great. And let's move these boys up here. Um, we are going to do that. And give these fellas a... Nice. The very first thing that happens, we take it. It's great. The Georgians have taken the little round top. Can now start sweeping in. Oh, nice, nice volley. Low ammo, 324. What do they got? 40 men. Oh, they've got plenty. These guys are low ammo too. That's not good. Oh, artillery. Give us no choice. There we go. Tuck the guns. Wish I could spike them. Three guns, one gun, one gun. So we've got some artillery up here ready to go. Give them a volley. Nice. And let's let's unlimber these guys here. Oops. Why not? Yeah, that's high ground, so they can. That's good. We have to wait till next turn before we can fire. 
We're gonna have to move these guys to the element. Oh, 25 men. Wonderful volley. Hood's gonna have to push these Alabamians forward. Next turn, this looks like it's gonna be the big push. Oh, 30 men in a volley. Woo! Okay, they've got uh, they gotta move forward here. Uh, first and first and fourth Texas. I know that Confederate. Are these guys. They take them in the flank here. Why not? Let's go for it. Oof. Did not work out. I'll give him, give him a volley. Oh, at least these guys looks like those guys me lead. Thirty-seven men. Goodness gracious. Benny's gonna move up. Give him another volley. I can't. We're just going to have to just keep. Not enough. Hancock. Sickles and him. Two, two core commanders. Right in front of you. My goodness, take them. Oh, we may have killed uh, Sickles. He is not among the... Uh, among the remainder of those men. Hancock appears to have escaped. Oh my goodness. He's walked into a hornet's nest there. A low ammo, dang it. Give him a volley. Sem's men. Ugh. Nice. We're pressing them. Just press them. Barksdale's got some mendo. Twenty-two men down. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, they've lost 60 men and two volleys. First Minnesota's in there. Oh my goodness, 44 men. These Confederate volleys are just slaughtering these men. Thirty-one down. How many men are left in that regiment? Hundred. How many men I got in this regiment? Four hundred to a hundred. Yeah, let's take them. Let's melee. This isolated 200 men. 300. There's 500 men there. 380 men. Fire volley. Of Let me give him a forward volley. And now the... Uh, melee attack. Oh, I've shot from behind. That's not going to be good. Not getting anywhere. We'll take them. Five hundred men there. Advancing, boys. Keep advancing. Let's push these guys. Bummer. Let's take them. Just 
just taken tons of his artillery. Whew. Press him. It's gonna hurt. Oh, not too bad. Has fired, has fired, has fired us. Okay, we'll have to melee them next turn. Pender, get in there. cohesion of these units is just completely breaking down. Lots of Confederate dead in here. Oof. This guy's right out in the middle of everything. Men are all Wayne. Daniels, man. And more of Daniels, man, here. Let's get both those regiments. These guys are routed. Uh, we can... Uh, we're going to turn these guys... These units have been beat up from the previous day's fighting, so we really can't push them. Guys are reforming. Can't let that happen. Confederates aren't overshooting this day. They had a lot of um, a lot of complaints about the Confederates always overshooting at Gettysburg in particular. 
on day three. But on this day, on day two, they sure aren't. Hitting the mark. Look at that. Seven men. Eight men. Another seven. Eleven. Twelve. Another three. Oh my goodness, the 157th New York just just got hammered. I mean, they just got hammered. Alright, let's move the culps. Baltimore Pike, we've taken, we've cut him off. Oh my gosh, General Early. Major General Early. They're disrupted so they can't assault. Maybe they can decrew that gun. Nope. Johnson, Virginians, and they got artillery on us. Boy, I thought for sure we'd kill that crew. Coming in behind them. Man, these guys are disrupted. Keep these uh, troops moving in. Oh, I don't think you can see them. Very small reserve heading over. Hmm.
Yeah, Pickett's artillery's slow. That looks like it's going to be it for Confederate turn seven. And, um, boy, it looks to me like, let's take this off for a second. And it looks like the Confederates, we've lost a lot of men on this hill. But um, we just took that artillery. And now we've, we're fighting Ames's. There's only 100 men. Von Gilead's men. I don't even know who these guys are. But these are all look, probably. I mean, there's nothing here. It's like all artillery. It looks like what's probably the remnants of what was First Corps. What's this? Who are these guys? I don't even know who these guys are. It's just, is this Sixth Corps? Is that Sedgwick? This is a problem here. Oh, that's not right. This is a artillery. Oh, that's us uh, taking them. All right, that's going to do it, I think, for this turn. Let's see if I don't think. Let's see if any more of these units can do anything. Move up this wagon. Supply wagons just can't keep up. But we'll be we'll be hitting the main line in next turn. All right, it's the Union turn. All these guys are routing. Looks like double route. Oof. Let's roll them next round. Time to take a sip of a beverage. I don't know how that happened. Those guys were low on ammo. This might be a counterattack on, on uh, Little Round Top. This is where the heart of his defense is here. You know, he's got a chance to hold on here. I got to support those Georgians on Little Round Top. I got to move those Alabamans forward. They're just going to have to take some losses. We've got the wheat field. Confederates own it. Yep, they're pulling back. That's crazy. Sickles and Hancock in the same unit with only like 70 men. Oh, I forgot to move those guys up.
Little Round Top is just a slaughter pen now. That woods there is just going to be a bloody battle. sweep up. Gotta sweep up from the Alabamans need to sweep up. We're just pouring it into him. the Irish Brigade right there. down. It's like they're launching in a full attack into that main attack. They're just launching everything into it. I mean, this whole, look at this. It's like an entire line coming into this main assault, and they're just getting flanked. These guys are these guys are doomed here in this little pocket. destroy the enemy cannons 
I'm sure there's a way to spike them so I can get points. So they're just laying on the battlefield. I'm leaving these cannons laying around on the battlefield. I know there's a way to crew them. I've got some men out there still, though. Look at the routed men. They're totally outflanking uh, Little Round Top. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold it. Doesn't me lead me though this round. So I mean, this is just—they've just come out and launched their entire army into this attack. It's kind of like instead of sickles being like sickles, you made a big mistake. It's like sickles, uh, we're just gonna throw everything in support of you. It's crazy. gonna hurt What a just glorious mess this is. firing everything they can up.
Let's go your regiment in there. Oh. Couple of regiments in there are just disrupted. These guys are just getting mauled. Might cost a lot of men there, yep. It's just a bloody, just bloody, bloody battle. And the whole Union Army is, is just in this mass in the middle here. Any loss on those. Oof. Ooh, they broke them. Four units routed. Oof. Yeah, those guys, oh boy, those guys just all broke in here. We gotta bring these fellas up here. Two hundred men. To, nah, we're just gonna give him a volley. Fifteen men down. Good. All right. Let's see what we can do over here. We gotta be able to see what we're doing. All right. Hit the. Nope. Hit the 99th pen. There we go. There we go. Move these boys up. Give them a volley. Gotta find a way to get rid of those guns. Ah, they're low on ammo. 700 men. How many men? Ward. Not a 
enough. That's for sure. There we go. and 40 men. Take them out. Get rid of Hancock. That's got to be worth some... Oh, Hancock the excellent escaped. Hancock the Superb. Alright, let's see what I can do. Uh, command. Yes. I guess it doesn't do anything. Two hundred, three hundred, third core. Yeah, it's not. We don't have enough men. Good volley. Move up. Oof. Ulster guard. That's going to hurt. Kershaw's back up with 600 men. Ooh, that's a... Still moves on. He's in the Trossel farm. I think that's where he was killed. And Wofford's got to leave some of his men behind here. Hmm. 
What have we got? Oh, Alabamans are hurt too. Oh, I think the first Minnesota got wiped out. They did. Oh, nope. They're still there. Can't shoot. These guys have fired. 46 men. Canister. Fire right into their backs. Those guys have got their backs turned. We got 320 men between these two regiments, but. Ooh, they're both disrupted. That's a drag. One space. Ooh, twenty two. Good volley. Sixty men. Coming in from three sides. And that'll do it. Good deal. And a nice volley. Lads, who can't move? You can't move.
Let's see what we can do here. Good, good volleys. Well, it must be low on ammo, or it's fired. Okay, got it. Combined arms attack. Eleven men. Combined arms attack is good. We might be able to break through. Asking too much of these men. These guys have uh, already suffered a lot of casualties the day before, so. Get in there with them, Iverson. I thought Iverson was an old guy. Oh, that was O'Neill. Maybe it was an O'Neill. Good. Yeah, these guys need to rally. See where uh, old Pickett is. Not far enough. Pickett's charge on day two. That artillery is never going to see action.
moves so much more when you just use one gun. Hmm. All right. What else we got? We got uh, we got these guys over here. And then we've got the, uh, what do we got here? A little artillery? We're going to leave them be. Yay. Take them. This is just like a raiding party gone amok. Are we, uh, okay, good, we're good. How many men? Hundred some? Get up there, boys. Oh, they can't. These guys are facing the wrong way. We need to turn them this way. There we go. It's going to hurt. Doesn't matter. We're going to start rolling through this artillery. an objective. Take it. Whew. Just chaos. Confederates running amok. Movement 12. We run into some Yankees. guys are going to break. First Division HQ. My goodness, they're just running amok in these rear lines. My goodness, they're... There's six hexes, seven, eight hexes from completely cutting this whole army in half. 
move forward. Take him. Getting crazy. My goodness, the Confederates are everywhere. <laughs> Insane. Need some rallies going on. About face, boys. There we go. The men are streaming back. Destruction everywhere. Movement eight, movement eight. Fourteen more men. Well, let's take a look and see what's gone. I think that's it for this turn. Confederates. Oh, wait. We haven't done our shooting from low ammo. Can't shoot. Ninety, a hundred men. How many do we have? Low ammo, 324. We've got we've to gotta assault them. We've got to give them the bayonet. It's just like Chamberlain. We have no choice. Oh, yes, we've pushed them back. <sighs> Move in, boys. Give them a volley. 10th Main, 1st PA. Cavalry? Blast them. Uh, 600 men up there. Blast that cavalry. 25 men. How many men they got sitting here? 100? 330. Have they fired? No, they have not. Give them the bayonet. Give them the bayonet. Nope. They've already fired, so they can't move again. I've got no reserves. There's just no reserves left. There's nobody left to shoot. No reserves. These guys are going to crumble. These guys can move up. These guys a volley. And these 
guys have not done anything yet. Whoops. Whoa. Well, let's give these guys a chance here to It's this regiment here. Yep. Move them up. Disrupted. These guys melee, so they can't really do anything else. And that's going to do it for the Confederates for this turn. Let's take a look and see where we are in the battle. And uh, info. Let's take a look at victory. We're at now a rebel major victory. Look at the points have gone up by a lot. Oh man, the Union is really taking it on the chin. 58, almost 6,000 casualties and the numbers are just really opening up a, a over 6,000 when you add the cavalry. So 6,000 under 4,000. Uh, the supply losses are adding up. The artillery losses are adding up. Um, they've lost six leaders to our three. Score is 54-25 for a Rebel Major victory. Just got to keep pushing this thing, and we can win the whole thing. Um, we're looking to win the Battle of Gettysburg and win the war right now. And uh, it looks like the Confederates can do that if they keep pushing this thing. So thanks a lot for watching this episode, and we'll see you on the beginning of Turn 9 for the Confederates. And we'll see what the Union's going to do at the beginning of that turn. Um, it's looking dark for the Union. But they do. I mean, they have so much, so much pop fighting power in this, in this uh, huge group here. And they could still take, they could still take a little round top back. Um, really, the coup de grace was taking this thing here. This whole area here is at risk. They don't have anything here. It, th their whole fighting power is down in here. The Confederates may very well overrun this whole area here. There's no combat power in here. The Confederates can overrun this whole thing, and this could all turn into a cauldron of destruction in here um, before this thing ends. And Pickett, Pickett, man, his troops, uh, it's going to take them one, two, three, four, five, I don't think they're going to get here in time. But if they get here for six turns, there's still five, four or five turns left of that whole core or that whole division. And he's got, you know, seven or eight regiments wide coming through fresh, hitting right in here. It'll be the end of them. That's the end of them. Um, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you're enjoying day two of Gettysburg, which is just... Yeah, by the time Pickett's get gets there, it's gonna be too late anyways. It looks like, because we're we're pushing six o'clock right now. So thanks a lot for watching this episode. We'll see you on the next one. Day two, Battle of Gettysburg.